Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dhawal Mehta. And today we'll understand how to create dashboards using Power Pivot Chart in Excel. Before this, we'll go in Excel workbook. In this data, in first column, we are having the registration number of the student, name of the student, date of birth, their graduation, that is, uh, they have completed graduation in BCom, BBA, BCA. In this column, we are having the specialization, that is the specialization they have opted for, marks in first semester, marks in second semester. Now we want to generate the charts from this data. So the first chart which we want to generate is on the basis of the graduation which they have completed, that is, how many students have completed their graduation from BCom, BBA, BCA. The next chart which we want to generate is for the specialization. That is, how many students have opted for marketing specialization, finance specialization, or operations. The third chart which we want to generate is on the basis of specialization, the students who have opted for and their average mark in each specialization. So to generate the chart from this, it is necessary that you convert this data into the table. Make sure that your cursor should be anywhere uh, in between the data, right? It should not be outside the data, it should be in, in, in the data and press Control T. So a window will appear. Now click on OK. So what you will get is a table design. Now click here, summarize with pivot table. So the, uh, uh, the table range is table one. Click on uh, from here if it is possible. Otherwise, make sure new worksheet is on. Click OK. So sheet two will open. Done. Now what we want to do is we want to count the graduation. So just drag the graduation into the rows. Again, drag the graduation in the values. So what we have got is that six students have, have completed their graduation in BCom. 2 in BSC, 7 in BA, 1 in BBA, 3 in BC. Now we want the next table according to the specialization. So again, I'll go back on the main data. And again, I'll click on the table design. And again, I'll click on summarize with the pivot table. Now just click here on the existing worksheet. Active, activate the sheet 2. And in C2, specify the location where you want where you want the output to be generated and click OK. So drag the specialization into the rows and again drag the specialization into the values. So we got the next table. Perfect. Again, go in sheet one and table design, summarize with the pivot table. Existing worksheet, click on sheet two, specify the location where the output is to be generated, click OK. Now what we want is a specialization and the marks in the first semester. So pick up the specialization and pick up the marks from the values. Now this is a summation of the marks which we want to convert it into the average. Click here, value fill settings, make it average, click OK. It's according to the average. Now, again, you go in sheet one and click on the table design, summarize the pivot table, existing worksheet. Again, click on sheet two, specify the location where you want the output, click OK. So this time I want the output that is, I'll select graduation and the marks in the first semester. And again, convert this into the average, click OK, done. Now create the third sheet, sheet three, and select the entire sheet and specify and, and select the background. So let's select the lighter background, done. Now from sheet two, select the graduation and the count of it. 
okay now make sure you can uh, click on power pivot table uh, analyze click on the pivot chart and your chart is ready click ok just copy this go in c3 control v done at present just simply go on copying and then later on we will we will do the settings so copy the chart first chart is has now uh, appeared in c3 okay now go in c2 uh, select specializations and uh, students who have opted for the specialization again go in pivot table design pivot charts and this time let's take the another chart and that's a pie chart click ok and copy shape 3 control v just a minute yeah, it has taken just control z and control v okay i just pasted on that chart and that's the reason it overlapped the chart okay make sure that you click on the canvas and then only you do the pasting otherwise it will paste on the original chart okay <coughs> now again go in sheet 2 and select the marks according to the specialization for pivot table design click on it pivot charts so let us take this chart it is okay or if you want we can have 3d stacked column also click okay copy sheet 3 don't do the mistake which we did last time make sure that you click on the canvas control v and your chart has appeared so close it from here and done now we want the fourth chart okay so again we'll go in sheet 2 and this time we want the marks according to the graduation so select the data or pivot table design pivot charts can we have another charts let's take the donut charts click ok the donut chart has appeared double click on it uh, Do we require the percentages here? So if I require percentages, what I'll do, I'll click on plus sign here and data labels. The percentages appear. Okay. This is uh, 58.33 decimals. Are. So let us edit it. Uh, select it and just write it on 58.33. Uh, click outside, just drag 65.5 outside, 70, 77.5 outside, and select this and make it 72.42 and drag this also outside. Okay, so 72.45 and drag this also outside. So now it looks quite good. Right click, copy, go on sheet number three, control V, done. Now we'll start our formatting. We'll just minimize it. We can have more charts also. Now we want to insert a title here. So insert shapes. Let me draw title. And we will insert. Uh, we'll write some text here, and the text is 
employee data for the year 2023 and 2024 control a increase you can increase the size of the text from here increase it 28 bring it into the center done change the color select your desired color from here employee data for the year bring it in the center okay. now let's do the formatting of this charts we'll start from the first this chart double click on it Peel, solid peel, take a lighter color, still lighter if possible, borders, solid line, increase the width of the line, make the corners rounded, done. We don't want the grid lines, so double click on the grid lines. this grid line press delete grid lines are gone we want to do the formatting of this one click on it double click gradient field let's take uh, the gradient direction is let's select any direction and let's select a color From here, let's select another color, the gradient. So this can be done. Or let us keep a solid field and borders, solid line, rounded corners, increase the width of it, done. Now if I want to copy the formatting of this uh, chart into this, let me check if the format painter works or not. Double click on it, go on home button, activate the format painter and let me check is it working. No, it's not working. Format it's not working so we'll have to do individual formatting double click on it again click on solid field uh, let's select the another color and this time i'll select this one click on the grid lines we don't want the grid line So just click on solid no line and the grid lines will disappear. Okay, let's proceed further. Again, double click on it. Solid field. Change the color. More colors can be selected from here also. And the solid line. Rounded corners. Color of the line can be changed. We'll keep the black color line and it should be rounded. Increase the width of it. Let's give the border to this also. The border is solid line. Rounded corners. Increase the width. Okay. Still, uh, we can do more formatting. Let's say that we want to change the we want to change the shadow and glow of these bars. So click on it and activate the shadow. The color of the shadow. Let's take another color. We'll increase the size of the shadow. Do we require blur or not? Angle. 
distance of the shadow. Okay, we want that this uh, pie chart glows. So I click here, glow, and we'll select the color of the glow. Let's select this uh, bars. From here, you can have full pyramid, partial pyramid, cylinders, full con, partial con. Uh, let's select the cylinders. And from here, shadow. Let's select the inner shadow, color. We'll select black color. Angle. We can change the angle of the shadow, distance. Is glow option available? Let me check. No, it's not available. Soft edges. No, it's not available. 3D format. So you can select top bevel, bottom bevel. So very interesting things can be made in Excel. Now just click here. And we can change the feel of this, borders of this. Is there anything else we can do? Let me select the donut chart and we can activate the shadow. Let's activate the glow and in glow, let me select the green color. The size of the glow can be increased or decreased. Transparency can be increased or decreased. Okay, uh, let me check about the 3D format. Is 3D format available? Quite good, 3D format is available. So it makes a really good chart. Now on this dashboard, what other things I can insert? So go in insert, I can insert the pictures. Shapes can be inserted, different types of shapes, whatever you want, it can be inserted. Icons can be inserted. Images, we'll select one image, insert. So we can insert images. Double click on it to give the borders to it, which a border, weight. And here, let's in, uh, insert some icons. So the cut out of the people or stickers. No, let's insert icons only. Insert. So you can see your dashboard is ready. So this was all about how to create dashboards using Power Pivot in Excel. For more videos on Excel, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I have uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias, link given in the description box.